next one I'm going to talk about is one that you're probably already aware of. Uh, the suspect in this case is Chad Richard Hurst. He's 30 years old. The victim in this case is Jenna Lee Miles. She's 28 years old. There's a second victim who's 27 years old, but at this time I can't give you her identifying information. Uh, this, this crime just happened. Uh, we're still in the process of following up on investigative leads, but we did get into a point that we feel very comfortable uh, with charging um, Chad Richard Hurst. He actually was uh, arrested probably about 12 hours after the crime itself. He's been charged with one count of murder and one count of attempted murder. And I'll, go, I'll go through this. On Saturday, September 25th, at 4.34 a.m., police officers and the Jacksonville Fire Rescue Department responded to 87 37 Bay Meadows Road, Hawthorne Suites, in reference to a fire alarm. When Jacksonville Sheriff's Office police officers, as well as JFRD, responded, uh, they quickly learned that it was not a fire uh, that they were responding to. Witnesses actually directed them back to the 200 building in front of a hotel room on the second floor. Witnesses also described that you had a, an individual, our suspect, was seen walking away from there. He wasn't located immediately there, but when we got there, we actually found one of the, the victims that I mentioned, uh, Jenna Lee Miles. Uh, she was deceased from stab wounds. And then we also had a, another victim that is still, um, that has survived injuries, but she also was uh, stabbed as well. We conducted the investigation. Um, the key thing with this that led to the arrest is that the victim, the surviving victim, positively identified Chad Hurst as a suspect who committed the crime. And also we were able to get some phone records which led to the relationship between the two. And really it's not much of a relationship. They did not know each other. They're actually strangers. They actually met on social media site Backpage and decided to arrange a date at the hotel. And when the two girls got to the hotel with a suspect, unprovoked, he began to uh, cut and stab them with a cutting instrument. I don't know what that is just yet. We have not recovered any of that. I'll take any questions that you might have about that. I'm going to ask you, Jenna Lee Miles, do we have a spelling on that? I don't know if it's in it. Looks like it's, in the, it's in the document. Oh, it is? Okay. Can we, you be more clear on who met each other on back pages? Both women knew each other previously and met the suspect through back page? I'm not 100% sure if the two victims, I, I believe the victims knew each other. Uh, but yeah, the back page date that was arranged, uh, they did not. The two girls did not know um, the suspect, okay. no relationship at all. But the two girls were on Backpage, and the suspect sought after the two girls on Backpage.com and then eventually met up with them at the hotel? Yes. Do you know how long they were talking on Backpage before meeting up? I don't. Is it the Hawthorne? Hawthorne. I have it as um, H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E, I believe. Was there an exchange of any drugs of some sort? Uh, a sale of drugs or anything drug-related involved in this at all? No. Any other questions? The, I have a question. The victim, one of the victims, had a purse with us, from what we're hearing, with a stolen identity of another woman who was thought to have been a victim, a, a, a woman, I won't mention her name now, but is that the case that we have recovered a stolen purse from somebody um, else as well? I, I don't, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with that, so I, I don't have an answer to that. Either victim pregnant? There was like a rumor, so I'm just asking. Don't, I, I don't, I don't I don't know that answer. Okay. So the body of the deceased victim and then the surviving victim, were they stabbed in the same room? Um, in, in that same area. Same area. Yeah. Just for clarification, backpage.com for us who are not all familiar, how does that work? Or is that um, just I'm, not, I'm not real sure. I, I understand that it's a social media, uh, kind of like a, a way for people to meet. And, uh, connect. Like a hookup connect. thing? I guess they date. I don't have never heard sure. of it either. Oh. Seeking out okay. And the suspect here, he's saying what or has said what? Um, we, we located him um, later that morning and interviewed him, and he denied everything, any involvement whatsoever. Where did you find him? Sorry. Uh, at his home. Oh. Does, does he have a record? Sorry. Uh, I believe he does. We can, we can get I can look it up. It's in the uh, it's in the oh, Okay, did, perfect. Thanks. Did the woman have anything? Did they look like they had any wrong? Um, I don't know the answer to that question. I don't believe that they were. One of the women, the woman that was found deceased was in a bra and underwear. Was there anything sexual in nature that happened there? Any intercourse or anything like that that went on in the hotel prior to the stabbing? I don't believe so. Mm -hmm. Were they 
Where so, was she stabbed? Where were either one of them stabbed? Um, the one surviving was stabbed multiple times. Um, I don't know the exact location. And then the, uh, the one that was deceased was actually stabbed fewer times. Multiple as in? Multiple as well. Uh, but how many? Do we have ballpark? I, mean, um, I would say the, the one that uh, is deceased, less than five. And uh, the one that is surviving, probably more than 20. Wow. And was a weapon recovered? Uh, no. Do we know what type of knife it was? No, I'm just describing it now as a cutting instrument. Okay. And Chief, can you say who made the arrangements at the hotel? I mean, who booked the room? Or um, I don't have that. And, okay. and this is one of those things where, you know, like I said, with the surviving victim identifying the suspect and, you know, the nature of this case, the cell phone records, uh, we were really compelled to make the arrest. Um, there's a lot of things that we are still doing. It's still an active scene out there. We still haven't held. Uh, our crime scene unit detectives are still processing the scene. Um, so it's going to be, you know, we hold that scene a little while longer. So there's still a lot of things that I don't um, have answers for me about. Do we know what condition she's in, the surviving? I don't. We don't. And also, I know you mentioned that the fire alarm was pulled. Do we know? I mean, didn't they respond to a pulled fire alarm? Yeah, they responded to the fire alarm. Uh, I believe the surviving victim actually pulled actually pulled the fire alarm. Yes. Wow. Any other questions? All right. Thank you. Thank you.